Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning into your weekly tarot reading. We'll be looking at some cards, um, some advice and some messages that you need to hear this upcoming week. This can be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, it's lovely to have you here. So if you like this content, drop a like, um, feel free to share. Uh, and also to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to get notifications for readings for the sign of Aries or for your element. Um, lots more content coming your way. So let's pull out some cards, Aries, for the week ahead. Okay, there is some sort of walking away, um, possibly a breakup happening here. The Ten of Swords, there might have been a betrayal in the recent past or something that got you very, very angry, Aries. You've got Sagittarius and Taurus that have come up, so you might be dealing with one of these signs. Um, or there's, there's love energy. What I get is that you need to be honest about love with someone here. Um, you might be choosing between two different people, two different connections. You're in two minds about a situation. A part of you wants to do one thing. It's like your head is telling you one thing, your heart is telling you another. And there's a bit of a struggle here going on with the Ace of Swords. Um, for a lot of you, if, you're thinking, if you've been thinking about walking away from a connection or a person, it could definitely happen. It's going to be like the last straw that broke the camel's back. There's something here that has, um, I think you've been thinking about something for a while, but you're actually going to act on it. Now, it could be reversed here. It could be your person it will walk away from you, maybe. So, but you know what? I'm getting more, more of a vibe that it's you because you are the two of ones here. And you're like, you're comfortable somewhere, yet you're not. Like, you're comfortable in those castle walls. You're comfortable with things that are familiar, but... A part of you wants to get out there. Um, there's something that you want to do and you feel like maybe your relationship is preventing you from doing that. It's holding you back uh, in some aspect from doing what it is that you want to do. Now, it could be different things. It could be like a spiritual thing. It could be travel. Maybe you want to get out there and, and you know, see if the grass is greener on the other side. You know, check out the other guy's lawn next door. Um, whatever it is that you want to do, that's, it's, it, it can be a disorientating energy with the Seven of Cups. So you're a bit lost emotionally. I feel like before you make a huge decision and before you cut ties or break away from a situation, try to give yourself, be honest with yourself and ask what it is that you really want out of this experience that you're chasing. Because I feel like with the Temperance, I don't want you to make a decision based on the, the the feeling that you're feeling now because it's a temporary feeling um, I think if it's been nagging at you for quite some time and you want to make that change you know go for it do what you need to do um, but I feel like there's something you need to do for yourself now it could be difficult to do that but I feel like you need to be honest and you might even need to be honest with your person about this about what's going on um, I think they'll respect you more if you're honest rather than if you just go back, go and do something here that might be hurtful or that might hurt that person. And likewise, you might need to say to someone, you know, just be honest with me rather than like hurt me with the truth, um, fool me with the lie. You know, I'd rather you hurt me with the truth type thing. So, you know, I think a conversation needs to be had. It's a It's an honest conversation that I think you need to have with the King of Swords, the King of Swords is like, let's set the record straight. Now, you might need to have this inner conversation with yourself, not necessarily with your person. Um, they'll respect you more for it if you do, though. But I'm seeing there's an emotional walking away. I'm wondering if you're juggling between two different people here, Aries. If you are, be careful. The other person may find out. Love triangulation. We see three people in the cards here. Um, there's a betrayal. Someone's being stabbed in the back. Someone's, this is unexpected for someone. Um, now it, let's flip the script. It could also be that the person you're seeing has options, but you have options as well. So you, they're doing the same thing you're doing. Okay. It takes two to tango type energy and it's going to come into the light. It's going to be revealed. It's coming up into the surface. The sun is coming up, so it's going to shine on it. Um, but I want to say the sun is like when we need to be, when we need to look to ourselves and, and, and know what we want, because the sun is the self. The sun is the inner child. Um, it's also divine masculine energy. 
So this could be happening around a divine masculine. You might be identifying as a divine masculine or it's happening with your divine masculine, the person you're dealing with. Um, and if that's the case, then, yeah, I feel like you're going to see it. I feel like they might even say something. If you don't say it first, if you don't beat them to the punch, I get a sense that you're both doing the same thing, though. I think you're both guilty of doing this. And it might be behind each other's backs. Can you pick up the swords, pick up where you left off? Yes, it's a possibility. I think forgiveness needs to happen. Um, the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords here. It's, it's a bit of a struggle right now. Um, so you might be struggling to forgive. Maybe you're trying to struggle to forgive yourself for doing something. Maybe it's a bit of a struggle to forgive a per your person for doing something that they've done wrong by you. That could also be the case. Um, but the King of Swords, the mind is everything. The way you're thinking about these things is, is everything. Um, but I feel like you need to be straight about a situation, about a love situation. It's either you need to be straight up with what you want, straight up with what you don't want, or straight up with what you really want to do. Because what you really want to do and what you think you're doing are two different things, Aries. And, you know, it's not like you to be in two minds. You're normally when you're set on a decision, like you're set, you're like, yep, let's go. I'm doing this. Like you're normally very clear cut with these things. But for some reason, some, this, this nagging feeling, like I want to say to you, don't ignore this feeling because if you do, it's going to build up. And you're going to, the more you push it in your subconscious, the more you're going to suppress it, the more it's going to come up and the more overwhelming you're going to be. You need to do some time. You need some time alone to think about some things. And I think it needs to be away from your person because they're, they're distracting you. Um, spend some time away and see if you can either forgive yourself or give yourself more time or go out there and do what it is that you want to do. Um, but I feel like there's, there's some change that needs to happen on your end. But only you can make this happen, um, Aries. But a part of you is scared to take the risk. So I'm wondering what it is that you want to go out there and risk. Um, I want to say, don't ignore this feeling. Don't ignore these thoughts because they're coming up for a reason. Your subconscious is trying to talk to you. Acknowledge it. Make peace with it. Don't try to fight it. Don't try to resist it. Um, maybe you need more time here in a situation, but I do feel like there's a, there's a thought that keeps coming back up with the King of Swords, or there's a conversation that needs to be had. Okay, it's like the elephant in the room type thing um, needs to be addressed. I do hope that has been helpful, though. So thank you again so, so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'm sure we'll be in touch very soon. So thank you again, everyone. And bye, Aries.